On December 7, 2023, I was driving a service 518 bus along Pan Island Expressway. It was just another day on the job until I witnessed something on the road. A motorcycle collide with a car that suddenly changed lane right in front of my bus. I knew I had to act fast. I stopped the bus safely, preventing what could have been another accident. Without hesitation, I immediately rushed to the administrator aid to the injured rider. It was a moment where every second count. Without thinking much, I did everything I could provide immediate assistance to the injured motorcyclist. I'm just glad that he saved and sound. On 1st October 2023, while on duty, I heard a commotion outside the passenger service centre. My colleague, assistant station manager Raquel, and I saw a woman who appeared to be in an emotional state, standing on the ledge outside the glass railing. While I engaged the woman trying to calm her down, Raquel helped to disperse the crowd that had gathered behind us. At the same time, station manager Aurelius contacted our operation control center and the police and SCDF were activated. I'm just so relieved that we were able to save her and bring her back to safety. My job as an assistant station manager is to ensure the safety and security of the station. On September 9, 2023, during my rounds at Canberra Station, I noticed a landscaping contractor working without following proper safety protocols. The contractor was working at the link beach parapet without securing a safety harness to an anchorage point. Recognizing the safety breach, I acted swiftly to stop the unsafe work. SM Isa immediately notified and parks person in charge, SMRT Safety, Security and Quality Team, Operation Control Centre and the Duty Service Operation Manager. Our prompt and coordinated response ensured that proper safety measures are being enforced, preventing potential harm to the contractors and ensuring safety at all times. On April 29, 2023, as I was driving along Bukit Batok Street 21 on my taxi route to pick up a passenger, I noticed a smoke coming out from the second floor of a HDB block. My first thought was for anyone who might be injured or trapped. I immediately stopped my taxi, opened the boot, grabbed the fire extinguisher and rushed up the stairs. Without hesitation, I pulled out the safety pin and aimed the extinguisher at the fire to put it out as quickly as possible. I just did what anyone would have done. I'm grateful that no one was hurt. During a routine monthly safety inspection, at Mandai Bus Depot, Tower Transit Singapore safety team noticed a contractor behaving suspiciously. The team demonstrated alertness and vigilance in detecting the telltale indicators, which prompted them to verify the work permit and identity detail. When asked about his birthday, the contractor evaded by pretending not to understand the question, till his friend assisted. I decided to bring the contractor to the guard room for further investigation. Using the SU Work Pass app, I discovered that the work permit had been cancelled in June 2023. I also noticed that there were slight differences between the permits holder picture and the contractor's appearance. Tower Transit Singapore placed great emphasis in the safety and security of our public transport network. The team's action demonstrates TTS's accountability in ensuring that only authorised and approved personnel can work in the bus depot and interchanges. At Tower Transit Singapore, we strive to maintain a safe and secure public transport for all.